Morning everyone. So today we're at a Nissan X Trail. I think this is a T31 model because it's a 2013. Uh, it has this badge on it. Intake Plus, whatever that means. So is this a 2 litre or a 2.2? No really sure. But customers complain is lack of boost. So a quick good scan in the engine we have a PO560 battery voltage. A P0560 battery voltage, a P0606 ECM, whatever that's. And in the body control module, CAN communication circuit fault. The EPS, is that the electronic power steering? CAN vehicle speed ABS, CAN communication circuit and IPDM. Now the IPDM is the instrument. And the AVM, whatever that stands for, steering angle sensor calibration and the rest are clear. Let's have a nosy in here. Read fault codes. So battery voltage, battery voltage. Let's see what freeze frame says. So 11.813. Alright my man. Is this yours lad? So the coolant temp is 11 degrees. Battery voltage 5. 5.36. Extremely low. And then we're going to freeze frame for this one. 9 volts an ECM freeze frame for that one no idea what that refers to so let's just read data stream at the moment memo of parameters see if we get battery, te battery current sensor, battery temperature battery sensor voltage, battery voltage Currently at 12 at the moment. Let's start it up. So she's charging okay. That's quite a fast update, isn't it? So we'll put her off again. Crank her again. Let's graph that one. So you see she gets down to about what? Eight, eight and a bit. So let's go and take a test drive, see what we can find out. Clear the codes. So just driving along the road, uh, the fault code does not reoccur. Uh, but, but it feels a bit sluggish sometimes, I must honestly say. So I want to compare the, the turbo boost pressure to the target boost pressure. So you can see one's actually in bar and one's in millibar, it doesn't actually matter, it just times it by, but that would be a thousand. So <clears throat> we'll graph the two of them and we'll give it a shimmy along the road. But The actual one is hitting just 2.5. See, they're, they're okay. We've got three peaks here and three peaks there, but they look good. I wonder if I slightly choke in the DPF. What's the start? back to you. So I'm going to give this a run and you can see there's no fault code showing up and what I would say is there is like a lack of pressure sometimes it's like an intermittent lack of pressure but hmm don't know I kinda, if they had a, a DPF PID that would be handy but I can't see anything here that uh, tells you the pressure and the particle, the particle filter. So, I wonder if we could just try a regen on the thing. Special function. Service regeneration. Judges whether or not it's possible. To touch OK. Oh well, let's try this. Start. Uh, it takes OK. Let's go for this then. 
So let's start it. There we go. We're idling up. Just leave it and let's see if that improves things. It's like I can hear maybe a leak down the back there, I'm not sure. You can see it's dropped to 2000 RPM. So, the scan tool just stays exactly the same. We'll just leave it. So, 40 minutes right in the button. So, good old Japanese punctuality or efficiency. Uh, we went back to idle, and the scan tool just says OK. So we'll just go OK, I think that's it. So it's executing. I'll just go stop. Go back out of that. Uh, let me see if there's anything in that. Read fault codes. Nothing. Read data stream. Let's see, select all, I if this ain't it, do it. Inactive, inactive. Yes, regen, off, off, off. I just need to run, glow plug, absent, yes. what that means. Let's give it a run. And what we'll do this time, we'll take fuel pressures. Should've done that last time. That's deviation. Okay. We'll just go graph the three of them. There's a little deviation, that's not much. Let's give it a run. So there's a quick shimmy up the hill. So we're getting up to 1500 bar. Uh, we're getting up just under 4 volts. And we've got quite big deviations right enough. Well, let's give it a first gear pull here. Down second. Imagine that pressure's okay, 1500 bar, then you get up to 4 volts. There's a deviation, obviously that's nothing really. Eh? Well, 200 bar's quite low. <laughs> Depends what way it's going. But, eh, uh, seems to be when it's up gear, when it's higher gears, 3rd, 4th and 5th, there's a lack of power. Jump and drop, jumping and changing here. So here's a, pers a first gear pull. Uh, so we're getting up to 4 volts, and that's what... Five six hundred kilograms an hour. You think that'd be about right, yeah? I don't know why this is sluggish up hills. On the flat, fine. It's just going up hills. You just feel it's like I'm missing something, but I can. I think I can hear a hissing. <laughs> oh dear, one of these days. I think maybe we've got the cosy. <laughs> why it's so sluggish? Front brake is binding. That one's okay. 